I get so many questions about organic chemistry and y'all are so worried about this class. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do a video on this. I used to always worry about what people thought of me and would try so hard to live by society standards. Then I realized that I was created to be different and regardless of what I did, I would never fit in. So I decided to follow my dreams instead. Join me on this journey as I grow in my faith, go through the ups and downs of pharmacy school, and most importantly, being God's masterpiece. If you've already taken the course, I'm sorry I didn't make this video sooner. If you're about to take the course, then I hope that this is helpful, so let's get into it. I took organic chemistry one in the fall of my sophomore year and I got a B plus in the class. All right. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, you know, I, I, I can live with that. Like I'm happy with that. Then I took organic chemistry two the spring of my sophomore year and I got an A minus. I was like, A man, I worked so hard for that A. Look, the disclaimer, this is what I did. Okay. Those who didn't hear in the back, this is what I did. So I don't want y'all coming out saying, well, I did this and it didn't work. I'm sorry. I, I'm just being honest. I'm just let y'all know what I did and you can go from there. You can decide what you want to do, but this is what I did. All right. So number one, read the textbooks. Y'all don't be that student that buys your textbooks, spend almost a thousand dollars just on books and you let it collect dust in the corner. Or be that student who doesn't buy the books, like why buy the book, like there's no point in buying the book, like why, why, why? Well, for organic chemistry, I feel like it is very important to buy the book. The teacher that I had, I didn't feel like she was that great, especially like fall semester. In lecture, I'm sitting there like, what? And what I did, I literally went to chapter one, because the exams are based off like chapters, so she would be like, okay, exam one is chapter one through three. So I'd be like, all right, cool. So I studied chapters one through three, and like I read each chapter, all right? So what you have to understand is that you can read a chapter, but you have to actively read. What I mean by actively read, I mean that you take notes as you read. This takes a long time, I know, and I'm sorry, but you want to do on organic chemistry, I feel like this is very important. So like reading the chapter, going through and taking notes as you're reading, like I would literally get like a white piece of printer paper and write chapter one on the top and then the title of whatever paragraph and then write down the notes like, okay, so this is what this is. Okay, this is this. Okay, this is this. And that's how I studied. And then by the time I finished like reading the chapters and writing notes, I have like this little mini study guide. I would also draw out the reactions. I would draw out everything so that way I had it right there. I'm not a genius. All I did was study really hard. Reading the textbook is like the biggest thing I can say and that was what was really helpful for me and that's what helped me to do well in organic chemistry. Then if you notice at the end of the chapters they have like questions in the textbook. Those questions really help you test your knowledge of if you really truly grasp what the textbook was saying. So I would go at the end of each chapter and answer those questions, go through it, and if there's something that you don't get, then you go to the professor or tutor and you try to figure out why you couldn't get the answer to that question. So the next thing I will say is make your own study guide. I feel like it's so hard to just go off of PowerPoints. Say like your exam is on five chapters. You can have a study guide for each chapter and like you can just go through that over and over and over so that way you can ensure that you understand the material. I like making my own study guides, especially for classes that are cumulative. So that way at the end of the semester when I have to study all over again, I can just review my study guides and I'm like oh and that's what I did for organic chemistry too I made study guides for each chapter and for the cumulative exam I actually did really well on it because I just looked over my old study guides I drew out the reactions I was like oh yeah that's what that reaction is that's what that reaction is called and for my organic chemistry 2 class our exam was um extended response like there was multiple choice and there was an extended response portion so we had to actually draw reactions we actually actually like write out things so um that was really helpful so for individuals who have um organic chemistry and you have an extended response class then you really need to make your own study guide like that's what you need to do like no questions asked don't be like oh i could just read no draw it out like draw it out and that way you can see it a lot better seek help go to 
tutoring go to office hours do that at my school they had like a tutoring center and they had like tutoring specifically for organic chemistry chemistry the sciences whatever you needed so I went to that and I would ask any questions they would go through material and it was amazing y'all don't think that you can do this on your own seeking help does not make you weak all right it actually shows that you genuinely want to learn and you want to understand the material so go to tutoring and go to office hours um if your professor isn't that great at explaining things i'm sorry <laughs> i had a professor like that and i just went to the tutoring that the students had um and i found that really helpful and the last point that i will say is to pray sometimes people are just like oh no it's because you studied god had nothing to do with it no because you'll be surprised at like when you just pray and just trust god you release a lot of anxiety and you'll be surprised at how much anxiety and fear can cause you to do terribly on exams you can know the information all you want but if you're anxious if you're nervous if you're scared then you're just gonna make stupid mistakes. And so when I cast my cares on God, and when I'm anxious for nothing because I trust him, you best believe that I do a lot better. Now, as far as some of the questions that I get is, if you really need organic chemistry for pharmacy, most likely it's a prerequisite for your class. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I took organic chemistry five years ago. Do you think I even remember one of those reactions I don't I don't know a lot of you get really like anxious and worked up like oh I didn't do well in organic chemistry so that means I'm not gonna do well in pharmacy school that's not what's gonna happen um, and even for chemistry like I took chemistry six years ago and some of the stuff like it doesn't really come up that much like you would think um, and if it does the teacher teaches it so like it's not like, oh, well, you should have known this chemistry from six years ago. Like, no, it's not like that whatsoever. That's pretty much it. I hope that answers a lot of your questions. If it doesn't, you can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. I hope that this video was helpful and that you guys learned something from it and that it was great and that it was amazing. That's it. And as always, be his masterpiece. <laughs> Bye, everyone.